following contest is brought to you by Beck and GM and will be contested under K1 kickboxing rules. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, representing Lochran's Boxing in Corbin, Kentucky, making his debut, weighing in at 205.6 pounds, Justin Powell. And his opponent in the red corner, making his Aries Fight Series debut, representing Fit BJJ in Maryville, Tennessee, weighing in at 194.8 pounds, Alec Jefferson. Your referee when this contest begins is Big Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson, gonna rein these two in here. It's gonna be Alec Jefferson in the white, and it is um, Mr. Powell in the black and blue. Powell, the fiance of Samantha Buttery, who we'll see a little bit later on this evening. Touch of the gloves and we're off. Yeah, and already a strategic move from Powell. Look at the size of his shin protectors in comparison to his opponent. They're half the size. <laughs> One of them goes all the way up to the knee for Justin Powell. And the flip side of that, Alec Jefferson, it's just a short little sleeve. It's like so, a sock. Yeah, I mean, his kicks would, in theory, you would feel a lot more impact on it. I'm surprised it's not universal, like uniform right across. You're both going to wear the same thing. Low blow here uh, early, just uh, 18 seconds in. It looks like he... It's okay. And to uh, answer your question from earlier, Cody, I would definitely choose being 10 years younger <laughs> and then uh, the 10 pounds, the 10 heavier. pounds heavier for sure. Yeah, now, that, I don't know if I'll fair. eat those words, but but I do love this weight class. You got you, We just had the super heavyweights, these 205ers. They have the strength and power for quick knockouts, but they also usually have the stamina and cardio to keep it going. Alex Jefferson looking to set up these kicks. I mean, he's already flashed three, four, five in a row, six in a row. But that's what you got to worry about. The more you throw these kicks, the more you're leaving your hands. In. And there's the jab that you mentioned. Powell just popping that thing at will. Oh, that's another, yeah. Another low blow yeah, there. Yeah, and that, that one was particularly yeah. pretty bad. He stepped right across with the right, and you heard an impact from where we're sitting. And, I mean, I got to feel in two ways here for Alec Jefferson. One, the pain that he's going through, but two, this is his debut. And uh, so far he's been kicked in the groin twice yeah. in the first minute and a half. Here's no. another look. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and he didn't seem to agree with it, huh? Up to five minutes it will be for uh, for Powell to recover. Let's see if, uh, if he takes it all. This early in the fight, guys, is, uh, is there any... Uh, advantage to to just kind of keeping things going or or taking your five minutes you say yeah i take take the five minutes for both guys with alex jefferson you see that there's a ton of skill there but he's uh he's being a little too aggressive he's making you know sloppy mistakes so to speak not aiming his shots and that just comes with inexperience it's his first fight he, there's a lot of jitters it's a red hot crowd here in the cotton eye joe so it's expected that you know you're going to make a few mistakes here and there the five minutes that's going to give him some time to just clear his head and get back to the basics Flip side to that for Justin Powell, he's been kicked in the groin twice here. He probably yeah. needs the five minutes to just, let's just reset the fight and, and we're starting fresh. And here we go back in action. Two two groin shots now. Uh, one has to wonder if, if another one may, may bring a, a deduction. The mouthpiece goes flying there for Powell. No, that's Jefferson's. Oh, he's breathing with it out, so. Yeah, Jefferson should really just keep to his boxing. When he throws the kicks, that tends to stray off the mark. But, I mean, yeah, between that jab and the right hand, he's doing some good stuff. What he does got to worry about, though, is he's using his reflexes to get out of the way yeah. of these punches. Yeah. His head's a little bit up, his hands are a little bit down, and he's trying to just lean back. I mean, it could work, but this is all it's going to take here. If you can step through with something like Powell's doing and come over the top, it's going to find the mark. 23 seconds left to go in this first round, and, uh, man, this is a nice. big head kick. Big head kick gets the chin. And just when you think Jefferson's got a clear striking advantage, whoa, whoa, whoa. these boys just, just want to get one. after it. Yeah, yeah. Down There's no bad blood. It's just it's it's the jitters. It's the anxiety. Frantic. It's yeah. It's it's your first fight. And this one, man, this is one of those where uh, it's not going to be super easy to uh, to judge, honestly. Yeah, and I'll tell you how I kind of see it going so far is that Powell's doing some, or sorry, Alec Jefferson's doing some excellent work early. There's a low blow. Yeah, another low blow, three of them. 
Go ahead, Coach. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, we, we kind of made the joke earlier, the 10 pounds or the 10 years, and, and it does seem to me like Justin Powell's trying to use that age and use some of that veteranness. Um, no doubt about it that Alec has got the speed advantage, he's got the power, and he's got these variables, and there's something that you can work with, but he's still very green, and he's very inexperienced. And as a man that's 34 years old, you have a lot more life experience. He's able to relax a little bit more. He's been hit with some huge shots as Justin Powell, and it doesn't really seem to have phased him. Whereas Alec Jefferson has been hit with half as many shots, and look at his body language. He's not nearly as tight and crisp as he was to start the round. Into the first round there, how do you guys see it? Yeah, well, I definitely do score that round for Alex Jefferson. He landed the better shots, but I will tell you something. Justin Powell fought his way back into it. He landed some of his best shots in the last 30 to 45 seconds. And just look at it. It doesn't look like he broke a single sweat. He is very calm and good to go. When you look at the other side, he well, a lot of into the room. He just not to the ground, but he basically just collapsed to the ground. The the ground. So, <laughs> right, right. That was bad timing, I'm sure. But the bottom line is, is that when you're that explosive, you utilize a lot of energy. And then it comes with a price. That price being you're slower, you're more sluggish in the second. And by the third round, once that lactic acid really starts to build up, that's when you know it's an even playing field. So the fact that the fact that Powell can keep it close in the first round is, is very promising. Because the second round, as his opponent starts to tire, that'll be his opportunity to fight his way back into this fight and win it. You ready to start round number two of three scheduled here at the Cotton Eye Joe? I'd like to see Powell, hopefully his corner totem. I'd like to see him utilize that jab some more because Jefferson's standing straight up with his chin. So if he could he could get that jab going and come over to the cross, that'd be nice. Jefferson taking some pretty deep breaths too. Like no doubt he's a gamer and he's gonna give it his best shot here, but one has to wonder if the time's not playing against him now. He's got a lot of movement he did in the first round. And he's just so fast is that he needs to use that movement to constantly dart in and out yeah, and no. throw two, three punches and punctuate it with a kick. Whereas you see on the other side for Powell, he just seems to be using a little more basics. Yeah, Powell, you see Powell, Powell's doing a lot of thinking before he yeah. throws where Jefferson's just going. <laughs> it's going to be the counter punch, that counter left hook for Powell that'll find the mark if anything, but you utilizing the leg kicks to kind of soften him up and then coming up high, keep him guessing. Differ your attack. Yeah, because you said you had Jefferson in round one. I was like Tim. I was a little confused on what the judges would do with that round. Should say, guys, this is actually a, a K1 bout. Now that I'm looking at, apologize that we've been uh, saying this is a tie bout. This is a K1 rules bout. Uh, talk about the, some of the differences there, Cody. Yeah, I don't think we've really called it a, a Muay Thai bout, but yeah, I guess the key difference is, is you're not going to see them just grab that Muay Thai clinch and utilize the knees of the body. You can use one knee to the body, but then that's it. You have to separate. You'll also not see obviously any elbows in K1 style. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a kickboxing match. K1 is an organization, not necessarily a style. It, it's kickboxing, and the other one's Muay Thai. So in this in this format, fought in a cage, there's really no difference. But I guess if you want to look at the key ones, it would be the knees and the elbows. Well, both men playing with fire there. You see Powell got his head straight up. Oh, and yeah. he, he's also trying to make this a fight. You know, he is not scared of his opponent. He's trying to do the best he can to line him up with and, and you see Jefferson, the, the mouth be yeah. starting to pop up. Like that fatigue is definitely starting to settle. But good news for him, there's only one round left after this. Short I time. I would like to see Jefferson start circling to his left with Powell being a southpaw. He, he doesn't need to keep going to that power hand. And that will bring us to the end of the second round. Chan, how have you got it uh, after two? I would not want to be a judge right now, but I'd like to think when I'm confused and we're going into round three, I like to just pretend it's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Cody, what do you think? Yeah, honestly, what he's saying is not wrong because I feel the same way. I don't feel like this is a blowout in any one direction. It's very competitive. The first round, I think we can all agree, Alec Jefferson had that speed advantage. He landed the better shots. The second round, it wasn't necessarily pretty, but Powell's the one making it an ugly fight and taking it to him. The couple head kicks that went up were pretty good. There was a couple good left hooks. Very, very, very close round. But I'm throwing it everything to win in the third round. I got a 1-1. Whoever wins the third should win the fight. Get ready for a third and final round. Both these guys are going to have to dig deep and claim this win. Nobody's got it in the bag, I don't think, uh, comfortably. Yeah, they always see never leave it in the hands of the judges. And that's a lot easier said than done. But, I mean, when you know this is a very close and competitive fight and it might come down to this three, the last three minutes, you really just got to buckle down and go, go for Justin, it. Justin, last round. Yeah, as you hear Justin's corner, let him know this is the last round. Let's go. 
And Powell looks like he could empty the clip. You know, he's got some cardio. He's been moving quite well, and I'd love to see him just throw maybe two, three punch combinations. The first one typically misses. The second one is where he's going to be able to get a little bit closer. And if you just throw something on the end of it, it's going to land. Both guys, a little, little tentative opening this third after we saw a lot of volume in this first tee. And both men have earned the other man's respect. I mean, uh, they've both eaten some huge shots. They know what the other man brings, but they're warriors too. No doubt. Big, uh, some stiff shots landed there by Powell. Yeah, again, Powell just, he just, he looks fresh. He yeah. just looks like somebody, he looks as good now as he did in the very first round. He's moving the same, he's throwing the same combinations. Whereas you can see on the other side for Jefferson, it, he's not the same guy as he was in the first. Maybe 5, 10, 15 fights into his career, he'll be able to keep that pace. He'll be able to utilize being a little more patient in some spots. But in this exact moment, it's your debut. He's being taught a very valuable lesson. I think he's going to land at 85 too once it's all told. Coming in at 194 on this one. Well, he's given up 10 pounds, which is an advantage. And then again, we talked about the age being his advantage, but it's not, you know, because he's got he's got uh, the inexperience as well that comes with being a young man. I'd really like to see Powell utilize that jab. He's pawing at it, playing with it, but I'd like to see him. Oh, and do we have another? This is the tough part here. So, so, but you, and you should take a point because it's now the third. But that was not intentional. Yeah, they were both kicking at the same time. So, how do you take a point, especially in a close fight like this? Here we go on the replay. Uh, it was a lazy kick, yeah. that's for sure. But you did see Powell had his leg up in the air as well and is trying to crash the pocket. It's fatigue. It's fatigue from Jefferson. You throw these yeah. sloppy techniques because you've got so much. Lactic, uh, lactic acid buildup in your body that is just, it's quitting on you. Your brain is telling you you want to do certain things, but the body is just not responding. And as a result, this kick that should have gone a little higher doesn't. It goes right into the family jewels. For a the third time. Third right time. Not. Hopefully at 34, he's already got a couple kids. So. Uh, are we going to get a point deduction? He's last not. Last warning. He is not last warning. Luke gave him a firm warning after the second one, but again, that one was both guys kicking yeah. in, a, in a sort of exchange that I, I think he made the right decision by letting them fight on. Nice jab there by Powell. This is Powell's best round, hands down. Ooh, nice good jab. jab there by Jefferson. But see, it's coming from the hip now. Yeah. He, he's throwing it out, and there's nothing coming behind it. 15 seconds left in this fight, and again, it's Powell, the one that's coming forward and, and looking to mix it up. Yeah, you definitely see that fatigue in Jefferson. He's, he's got to watch out, though. He's getting a little reckless crash in his pocket. Yeah, no doubt. As we come to the end of this fight, we're going to go all three rounds to the judges' scorecards, it appears. Well, we've still got a little more time. I, I think maybe they, okay, right. I was say, when we had that stoppage, maybe they didn't adjust the clock, but The way all three those guys in. were throwing, I'm, I'm shocked that it went the distance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they were both exchanging in the pocket, both heads up, landing with big power, and both men took it, so kudos. That was a huge learning block for both guys, and no doubt that they'll have a lot of good takeaways from that one. For sure. The yeah, guys, I, I think that uh, if, if I just had to, to guess here, I'm going to go two to one for Powell. I'm going to agree with you, Tim, which is sad for Fit BJJ. I believe that would be their yeah. third loss in a row. It would be, and they've actually still shown well in each of those fights, so uh, uh, hopefully they're not too discouraged. they still got three more to go, including our next one. The female's coming up. Um, we're going to see Asia Pack and Noel Pittman, uh, Pittman being another of those Fit BJJ uh, fighters. And, uh, of course, Asia Pack out of Striker Fight Center, who we saw victorious over them uh, just the fight before this. So definitely uh, excited to see the ladies throw down here as we tally up the scorecards and see who the judges have scored this one for. Yeah, it's very clear as day. Jefferson round one, very clear as day. Powell round three. It's that second round, and how yeah. did the judges score it? Uh, I agree, Cody. I feel this is going to be a W for the blue corner. I think no matter who wins, the other man will be disappointed because, I mean, you have an argument that you that you did it, that you did get it yeah. done. But it, to me, it seemed like Jefferson was burning very hot to start. And just the longer that it continued to burn, it was Powell who was still standing at the end of it. So my hat's off to Powell at 34 to make your debut. Yeah, 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 huge. I mean, obviously, he's been training for a long time. He's just choosing to now put his skills to the test. But... That was good stuff. And this is Karate Combat. They'd be calling for one more round. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and Powell would be in a pretty damn good position to go one more round. <laughs> yeah, it looks really fresh out there still after going three hard ones. All right, let's go to Dylan for the result. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has gone to your judges' scorecards. All three judges in this contest have it scored 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner. 29-28, that is, uh, that's how I saw it. Yeah, that's how we scored it. You can see some disappointment on Jefferson's face because he probably believed he won. But again, there is nothing to be ashamed of.